Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays, real talk with a real tour. I'm Sharice Wynn, also known as the Agent Lady, and today, guys, we have Jim Holler in here, and I'm gonna let him say the name of his company because I don't want to screw it up. Jim. Okay, sure. Morgan based on waterproofing and mold remediation. That's a tongue or a mouthful, uh, rather, right? Yeah. Okay. Tongue twister. Mouthful. And tongue twister. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you say it one more time louder? Sure. Morgan basement waterproofing and mold remediation. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so today, guys, we're trying to make it as simple as possible. We're going to talk about French drain. So, Jim. What is a French drain? Okay, good question. So <laughs> most people, a lot of people are scared off by that term, but a French drain system is what I call a water management system, meaning water's attacking homes everywhere in okay. our area. And um, so a water management system and a French drain is a, is a system that captures the water, gets it to the sump pump and gets it out of the house in a, an effective and guaranteed way. Okay. So. Um, a French drain is where, you know, it typically can be done from the inside and the outside. Okay. 999 times out of a thousand, we're able to do it from the inside. Okay. There are things that preclude it, um, which I don't want to confuse people with, but most of the time it's, it can be done inside. A French drain can be done outside. Okay. Why would you do it inside versus outside? Cost effectiveness. Okay. So 10 times the amount of cost to do it outside. And, okay. Because so, of excavation, you're excavating the property around the house, digging okay. down eight, nine feet down to the bottom of the foundation, and okay. putting your pipe there, and then gravity feeding the water away. Versus inside, jackhammering a four or five inch floor, oh. installing the pipe, the stone, the sump pump inside the basement. So that will be uh, a fraction of the cost to do, okay. and um, far less inconvenience to a homeowner that may also have a deck in the way, a front front stoop in the way, a nice beautiful flagstone patio in the way. Okay. So if it can be done inside, um, so we don't want to confuse people. There are certain certain things that make it difficult to do inside. Um, somebody remodeled the basement four years ago and spent so much money they don't want to touch the basement inside. So you Got it. Outside. Okay, so then they'd rather spend maybe the additional cost outside just Likewise. to get it done. Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah. and why would somebody need a French drain? So if they're getting, you know, uh, heavy rains typically if uh, in a bad area will cause seepage into a home, typically at the bottom of the wall where the floor meets the wall. Okay. So, um, like for example, nobody calls our company when it drizzles for 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. It, right. It rains like the rains we've had recently. Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, days at a time. Grain, ground's already saturated from melting snow. Rains. Boom. Here comes the water in. Um, so the systems, the French drains we install are designed to handle the worst of times. Okay. You know, the hurricanes, Irene's, where you're getting six inches of, 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 of rain, mm -hmm. you know, over a 12-hour period. So, um, so, yeah, that's when it normally comes. Heavy rains come. The water table's affected, hydrostatic pressure takes over, water comes into the basement, typically again at where the floor meets the wall. So you're saying it's coming up through the floor in essence? Most of the time. That's a below grade problem. Okay. Um, and that, that's what necessitates a French drain. If okay. it's an above grade problem. Uh, an above grade meaning coming from the top. Top down, down. like okay. a roof problem or a gutter problem. Okay. Okay, or a bad grading problem or just a, a, a topography problem. The house is at the bottom of the development. Everything is coming down oh, okay. towards that lucky homeowner. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> right. So <laughs> They really wanted and, that spot. <laughs> yeah, and, and certain things affect it over time. I, I will go into play, it will go into appointments where uh, folks will say to me, we didn't have, Jim, we didn't have water for 25 years. Right. And then, you know, Mrs. Kravitz next door took two trees out. And now we get it every time it rains. Oh, that's interesting. It is interesting. So, water's a funky. Those trees were oh, soaking they, up. Oh, because they were soaking up soaking the water because the they, they needed to mm -hmm. drink. Right. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It all works together. Yeah, and then it's corny, but water has a memory. So, people will find out that if it starts to come in, it will know where to come in. The path of leaf resistance, we call it. It will remain going at the same spot. Okay. Keep going. It's not going to go away on its own. It doesn't right. magically go away. So. so the times you don't need a French drain in the basement, if it's from the top down and it's a gutter problem or some, mm -hmm. some, I guess, what is it called? The sloping, the grading. The topography. The topography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, those, those things usually are, uh, are forces that, that make it necessary to get, you know, a French drain. If the topography is such, water's just coming at your house. 
Okay, like you said at the right. bottom and, of the you know, hill. Say the, like the above grade issue, maybe somebody goes away for a week, that we get a bad windstorm, it blows the downspout away, they mm. get a rain, it just dumps the water at that corner. Again, they just need to fix the downspout. No French drain needed. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. I think that sums it up. I mean, yeah. is there anything else you want to tell people? Any advice that you want to give them? Because sometimes if, just to rewind for a second, I know we're talking about French right. drains, but before we sum it up, Sometimes basements are just damp. What would you do in that situation where it's not right. necessarily a leak and you don't need a French drain, but it's sure. damp? Yeah, so a basement's like a cave. Right. right. So um, if they're not getting leaking on the floor, um, they could be getting leaking inside the block. It could be getting moisture issues from relative humidity. So in mm -hmm. that case, um, there's two methods that uh, take over. One is a, just a regular dehumidifier, okay. which in modern day is not that efficient. And then uh, the better method is a uh, ventilation system, okay. which is much more cost effective. Costs you more money going into it, but over time, if you're going to be in the home, costs you about five dollars a month electricity wise. Okay. So energy savings is big there, and you're, what you're doing is you're controlling the relative humidity, get that moisture out of the basement, so it's not going to feel like okay. Go down in the basement, it doesn't feel good. It feels like a cellar versus a nice basement. Kind okay. Of so. I like cellar versus basement. That right, right. People like <laughs> or, basement. Or, no, sorry, basement versus a cellar. Yeah, you like basement versus yeah. cellar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Right. The old timers. You know, yeah. So the cellar, people, nobody uses a cellar. Right, exactly. Yeah, they don't want to go it's down creepy. there. It's creepy. It's like home creepy. alone. He doesn't like want to go down there. Right. There's bugs. You know, bugs. Oh, God, I hate bugs. Rodents coming. <laughs> rodents, too. So it's a science experiment. There we go. Right. Well, thank right. you so much for sure. coming. Thank Greatly you for having appreciate me. appreciate you. How do people find you? Uh, on the internet. Um... MorganBasementWaterproofing.com. Um, okay. And we'll also have his information up at the end. Yeah. 800, so, 800 members. And there we go. Give us a call. Yes. Free estimates. There we go. Even better. Guaranteed Free estimates. systems. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> well, guys, that sums it up. I hope that information helped. Again, if you need more information, I'm sure he's happy to help. Um, and remember, friends don't let friends buy or sell real estate without the agent lady. Make it a great day, guys. Hmm.